Thank you for the time today. So we're here to discuss the Cleveland Clinic's uh, strategy as it relates to technology and adopting emerging technologies. I'm Ty Mayberry. I'm here with Elliot, Michael, and Pedro uh, to discuss the, the recommendations that we think the Cleveland Clinic can make to increase the patient outcomes. Is like to uh, really take a step back and tell us where we started. The Cleveland Clinic was established in 1921 with the mission of providing better care for the sick, to investigate into their problems, but also to educate those who serve the clinic. The makeup of the clinic is 200 plus locations, uh, mostly based here in the United States, with three that are outside of our borders. Uh, a, a London hospital opening in 2019. What we've been able to do is identify four areas where the clinic can improve their mission and value through technology upgrades. Improvements to electronic record integration and the reform of social media applications, along with the overall uh, aspects of security and changes to that system. Uh, in the next slides, we will go over each of these areas. The Cleveland Clinic measures its success through technology integration and the application of technology to their patients. While the Cleveland Clinic continues to advance medical innovation, care must be given to continue to enhance direct customer care and services. Areas such as real-time patient monitoring, caregiving patient relationships, and overall process improvements are essential to achieve their overall mission. Caregivers include doctors, nurses, and administrative support. Key metrics that we have found on improving in these sections are patient wait time and satisfaction in both hospital visits and direct caregiver interaction. The Cleveland Clinic has the infrastructure to expand and should leverage that capability to improve in these areas. By adding wearable biometric sensors to the patients, more data can be collected and analyzed to track their visits and monitor their health real-time. Integration of the data into a dashboard will provide real-time feedback to the caregivers who can provide quick and efficient responses based on that feedback. Analysis of the data through proper data management can lead to opportunities where the hospital can update processes to reduce wait times and correlate to give caregivers that require additional training to provide comfort to their patient. Here is Ty to discuss the benefits of electronic health records. Thanks, Pedro. Uh, with the electronic filing system, uh, it's been growing in popularity uh, since 2004. 2004, uh, there was a federal mandate of the Health Information Technology uh, Program that was focused on creating electronic records. The thought was having electronic records would decrease the medical errors that led to patient deaths. It's simplicity. Today, the Cleveland Clinic is spread across multiple platforms, 100 plus telco partners, data that's sitting within 1,100 disparate data centers across the globe, 50 plus cloud providers, as well as a host of different emerging technologies such as help desk and managed collaboration and security. What we're doing is looking for simple, small wins that can give big rewards. The clinic already is ahead of the curve and the average health system today with their electronic health records rollout. But with a growing infrastructure, how can the clinic be strategic, but also make changes that are not seriously impacting the end users. Our recommendation is to move existing services to an overarching cloud service platform that allows for a minimal risk with the opportunity for big rewards. This opens the door for the clinic to now have discussions with their patients by way of social media, and Elliot's here to discuss the social media approach. Thank you, Todd. Since 2000, the clinic has used phone and tablet-based applications to connect with its patients. This has traditionally been done through separate applications, but moving forward, our recommendation is that we use one integrated platform to connect with our patients, uh, regardless of media. Uh, statistics show us that 87% of Americans use the internet on a daily basis, with 77% of those Americans using the internet to connect via social platforms. Uh, our strategy is to grow the clinic's social media profiles through the use of virtual patient care, support groups, and training programs for doctors so they can collaborate around the world. Finally, we want to use our Internet of Things initiatives to improve direct patient communications 
uh, in a way that we are able to provide patients with more relevant uh, care and information regardless of where they are or the speed at which they receive those communications. I'll now pass it off to Michael. Thank you, Elliot. Given the history and culture of the Cleveland Clinic, it should surprise no one of the steps they have taken in recent years to become a high-tech organization. An example as stated by Pedro is the tracking of patients by wristbands to minimize wait times associated with tracking down patients. Additionally, we have Ty having spoken regarding the uh, the reality that Living Clinic is at the top of the pile when it comes to having implemented an effective EHR rollout. The next logical step for the Cleveland Clinic then is to utilize the latest in machine learning algorithms to better serve patients and their clientele. This step is not without its obstacles though. The primary hurdle of the Cleveland Clinic uh, with regards to migrating to the cloud and implementing these algorithms is the scale necessary to maximize efficiency. With over 200 locations around the world, the amount of data that the clinic will be feeding into whatever central data repository they choose will be truly massive. This data will allow the clinic to decrease patient stay times, time to treatment, cost of treatment, overhead, and will greatly reduce misdiagnosis by minimizing human error in both the treatment process and the diagnosis process. The obvious solution then for the Cleveland Clinic in dealing with this massive data set would be to build a massive data storage facility to deal with the data coming in from everything from location monitors and nutritional considerations to x-rays and raw MRI imagery. This is a false solution. It will create far more problems than it is worth and will indeed reduce the overall efficiency of the institution as a whole. The biggest hurdles associated with machine learning are scale and the expertise necessary to achieve relevant results. Machine learning is useless if you don't have the data to back it up, both in quantity and quality, or the expertise to create the algorithms necessary to utilize the data sets. You need both. Next slide. Given that the Cleveland Clinic does not routinely deal with this area of research, it's likely that they would face some issues in, in in implementing a proper rollout were they to deal with it on their own. Lawsuits will emerge in the event of a breach due to data mishandling, which comes about as the reality of the fact that the highly sensitive data that the clinic uh, handles on a daily basis dictates uh, that they must outsource the security and management of this data to an external provider. We recommend that the Cleveland Clinic utilize AWS as provided by Amazon to implement an effective cloud service solution. While this will solve the majority of the administrative issues associated with the big data solution, it does not completely answer all of the issues, uh, specifically with regarding to securing sensitive information. The final key to any proper security solution, especially one that deems to be comprehensive, is addressing the human factor. Routine training, both in the classroom and the workplace, is critical. However, the clinic must also implement proper access controls by hack usage and help the employees help themselves. Find a spam filter that works, utilize it, and maintain it. It's only as good as the maintenance done on it. The goal of the clinic must be to create a paradigm shift in the minds of the employees themselves with regards to security and the threat environment of today. The goal is not paranoia, merely awareness. Any proper cloud service provider will be able to provide the necessary algorithms. The issue for the Cleveland Clinic is how do they choose that provider? AWS meets all of the standards and requirements set forth with regards to ISO IEC 19086 TAC1, which is one of, if not the preeminent standards in the cloud, uh, the cloud community out there. It dictates that vendors must provide provable figures and everything from uptime to response time to methods of access. With that, and I'll pass this off to Elliot for the conclusion, and thank you for your time. Thanks, Michael. So uh, since its opening, the Cleveland Clinic has been continuously improving patient care through research and new technology. By capitalizing on the lower cost of wearable technology, and cloud solutions, we believe that patient care can be improved while lowering hardware costs, yet improving overall efficiencies. The best way to accomplish this is through the outsourcing of security and our overall transition to cloud technology. 
with connectivity moving to the cloud, it becomes easier to integrate social media by streamlining applications in overall patient care, thus improving the clinic's outreach to patients and the patient's ability to connect and find what's going on with them in their records. With this, this concludes our presentation on the Cleveland Clinic, its strategy, and its improvement towards technology. Thank you, and have a nice day.